Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to show you how to create these big sexy voluminous hair curls that I'm obsessed with. I used hair extensions to create this look from Goo Goo Hair Extensions who are kindly sponsoring this video today and I'm going to show you how to install them as well as to style them within your hair and create this really voluminous curly look. I feel like an absolute goddess right now. <laughs> I will have a discount code which I will put on the screen as well as in the description box down below so definitely go ahead and check out all of the further details as well and if you would like to see how I got these crazy sexy curls then please carry on watching. Before you do carry on watching please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video. I'd really appreciate it and go ahead and follow me on my social media pages. I'm Siobhan Makeup is on everything. And without further ado let's get curling. I'm going to first take a hairbrush and just gently brush out any knots and tangles that I may already have in my hair just to make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm now going to prep my hair extensions. These come in a nice like silky bag to keep them safe and manageable. So I'm just going to take them out of the bag so they can pack down really nicely. I'm just going to lay them out nice and like evenly and ready to put into my hair. I have already worn these once before and I absolutely love them so I was really excited to show you this hair tutorial today with the hair extensions just look how soft and silky they are with just a little brush run through I now have all of my hair extensions brushed out and put into little sections of the amount of clips that they're in so we've got my two clips we've got my four clips my one piece and my three so what we're going to go ahead and do is just flip the hair back to the head and make sure it's nice and not free and then take my fingers and I'm just going to go around the tops of my ears and work that way all around the back of the head until I can section off the back of the hair which you can kind of see in the back of the mirror there and then I'm just going to twist the hair around and section this off. If you have like day two after you've washed your hair this will actually work so much better. This My hair is freshly washed today and it definitely will work better on day two hair when your hair has a little bit more grip to it, but I can still definitely make this work. I'm gonna go ahead and just clip up this section a little bit because it is falling down. Okay, now I've got my hair nice and sectioned. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just back home the roots. You can see in that reflection in the mirror that I'm just going to back comb the roots just the most tiniest amount. All this is going to do is help the clip in hair extensions have something to grip to, especially if you have freshly washed your hair, this will really help with that grip. I'm now going to start with the first piece, which is the four piece hair extension. This is in the shade of light blonde highlights, by the way, and just look how silky and smooth that is. Actual princess hair. So what you're going to go ahead and do is just unclip these little pieces of the hair extension so they are open, and then take this round of the back of your head. Feel where the middle is, and I'm just going to go ahead and clip that where the like hinge of the hair is, so where the parting is. Hook that round and clip that on. Just make sure that's really nice and secure. And there we have our first piece of hair extensions installed. I'm just going to go ahead and move up my hair a little bit. I'm now going to feel where this hair extension is sitting and just go very, very slightly above that, just so I can go ahead and clip in that other four section, just to add in the thickness of this look. I think one of the best things about clipping hair extensions is you can really adjust how much that you need. I'm just clipping that little bit of hair up. There we go. And then I'm going to take my little comb. You could use like an actual back combing brush if you have one. I only have this little comb, but this will work absolutely fine. Just wanna do little back combs, not too much, just enough to give it something extra to kind of grab onto. And then I'm now going in with my second quaffed of four. Can't get over how gorgeous that looks. I'm going to unclip those pieces and whip that around the back of my head. Feel where that little parting is and hook that on nice and tight. 
Okay, so we've got two wefts in now. Okay, so we're going to basically repeat the same section one more time with the three piece. Make sure there's no bobbly bits. And now I'm gonna do a, another section right here, just above. If you can get it nice and close to each other, that would be ideal, because that will create as much like volume and even length as possible. I'm now taking a three piece section and clipping the clips, whipping that round, and then just kind of feeling where that parting is and clipping that on nice and tightly. Okay, so we have three pieces to really bulk up the hair. And I'm just going to take this down and release and have a little play just to make sure it's nice and it's smooth. I'm just going to gently take my brush very gently and just kind of smooth over these edges just so I can make sure that the hair is going in the right places and it's not got caught on any extensions. Then I want to add a little bit more volume around the front area. So I'm gonna move on to some two pieces. Bear in mind, I still have one weft of three left, but I'm not actually going to use that. I'm just going to clip up the section on the side where there's no hair extensions being put in. It's looking a little blank. I'm just going to clip that piece of hair up in this little flyaway that we've got going on. And I'm now going to take a two piece right here. And then I'm going to try and position them as best as I can. You don't want them too far forward because if you kind of brush your hair back, you're gonna see the hair extension. So I'd say about here is a good amount. I'm going to flick that back. And then I'm just going to do the exact same on the other side. And I'm just going to take that other two piece, make sure it's unclipped, and just line that up with where I want it to sit. And I kind of wiggle that into the parting and clip down. I'm now just going to pull all of this lovely hair extension forward and just gently brush it out and see where I feel that I need the extra volume or if we can leave it here or add any further pieces in. Just make sure when you're brushing the hair extensions to hold them very carefully. You want to look after them. But I think that is such an amazing shade match for hair extensions. If you have a look right here. Like, look at the shade match. I still need to style them, but I'm just obsessed with the colour. If you're someone who gets highlights like me, then this is definitely the ideal shade. Make sure there's no bumps. Okay, so having a look, it still looks really nice and full, and I could definitely leave it here, but I am going to add in one more little one sort of row weft just here in the middle section, just to kind of bulk that out a little bit and add some volume. I'm just going to separate for the final time on this side right here, just like that, maybe about an inch over, and then take one of the little one piece of wefts, I think these look so cute, and I'm just going to unclip that and literally just add it right in that center just for a little bit of extra volume just like that and that will just kind of fill out the middle bit a little bit more and then of course the same on the other side pull that across taking the last little piece that i'm going to use and just popping that right in the middle and then i'm just gently brushing that in so the hair extensions and my natural hair blend together and i am still going to style it of course but i'm just going to show you what the hair extensions look like just put into my hair so this is what the hair extensions look like just put into my hair with no styling or anything like that. I feel like they look really, really soft and the shade match is really good, especially when you have an uneven tone in your hair and you have highlights. The light blonde highlights are such a good. Now you could go even bigger with this if you really wanted to like pack them in there. I still have another three piece weft, two of the two pieces. And to be honest with you, I really could put these in, but I think this is absolutely fine and my hair looks very, luscious and princess like but if you wanted to you can make it even bigger while my color is heating up I'm just going to gently kind of fold these up just like this 
wrap them kind of like around my wrist so they're nice and protected and then I'm just going to pop them back in that silk bag just like so and it's going to look after them and make sure they're really easy to manage. Do you know I can't even zoom out to show you how long these hair extensions are. <laughs> I'm gonna have to insert some foam footage at some point in this video but I'm just gonna go ahead and style my hair and add some really nice sexy big kind of curls to the hair so I'm just gonna go in with some heat protectant and just apply this kind of mid lengths and ends and now we're going to go ahead and curl the hair I love wearing my hair curly it makes me feel so confident I can't wait to have big princess curls which I style these extensions as well you could definitely curl your hair before putting the extensions in and curl them separately but I want a really cohesive look so I'm going to style them together so I'm just clipping an under section right here about that much from like the nape of my neck and very very carefully I'm just going to section that big old piece up right here and now I've got a curler around this size it's like a small to medium kind of barrel because I want a really nice curl to the hair so I'm gonna go ahead and take about an inch section about that much the smaller you work with the tighter curls that you're going to get I want this to be a very sexy big curls kind of look I'm just popping on a heat protection glove so I don't burn myself and then I'm just going to take that piece and you're going to take a curler, preferably one without a clamp because that way you don't risk pulling your hair extensions out. But you're just going to take it around the back of your head and then loop the hair around the curler going away from the face. And I feel like this frames the face so beautifully if you do it all away from the face. I'm going to hold this for about seven to ten seconds release and then just hold it in my hand for a few moments okay, and now i'm going to release that into my hand and just kind of cut the curl for a little bit and that's going to really help with the hold of the curl for extra hold you can also take some of these little clips and just very very carefully go through the center of the curl and just clip that and that will help to set it and that's what you kind of call a pin curl i'm not going to do it to the root of my head because i don't want it to get messed up in the hair extensions but you can could pin it to the root just to get it out of the way but I'm just going to pin it just like that for now and that will set into place and hold for a really nice long time so I'm going to go ahead and just keep repeating this all around my head I'm going to speed up the footage for you and we will be left with beautiful curls and these hair extensions are such good quality I don't even recognize which bit is my own hair and which bit is the hair extension <laughs> And now I am back with all my hair curled and I'm just going to give it a little spray with some hairspray and just let that sit for a second before I take the curls out. Now ideally you just want to make sure that the curls have dried completely cool and that way they have set and they will last much longer than if you don't pin them up and set them into place. So just make sure they're completely cool before taking them out. You could do it before you do your makeup which is what I usually would do. But I just wanted to do all my makeup for this portion of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and take these all out and the best way to do this is start from the bottom and work your way up so you don't get too in a tangle. Okay, so all of the curls are 
out and without even brushing them out this is amazing i have so much hair <laughs> and this looks so voluminous so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is take a wide tooth comb like this just to brush out the curls so they don't look so poodle like and this will just create that really sort of sexy big curled effect so i'm just going to start from the ends because we do have the clip in hair extensions i don't want to just go and ham brush it out because inevitably i'm just going to end up ripping out the hair extensions so just starting from the bottom and gently just separating that and you can see how i'm separating that there it just goes nice and big and voluminous less poodle like and just gorgeous oh i'm so happy about this princess glamorous style hair and because you've got the hair extensions in there as well as your own hair, like the style is just gonna last so much longer. I have fine, naturally very straight hair. So keeping a curl in my hair is something that I really aim to achieve. Like, look how gorgeous that looks. Absolutely obsessed. And the shade match, I can't get over it, it's so good. These hair extensions are the nicest quality. They're so soft and they curled so well. I only really held the curler on the hair for about seven to 10 seconds. I had music playing in the background so I could kind of work out how long I was holding the curl because you don't want to hold the curler for too long against the hair extensions so you don't damage them, of course, like you wouldn't want to damage your own hair anyway. A wide tooth comb is best to use for brushing out curls because that way when you go in with a really big brush of loads of bristles you're just going to create frizz whereas this just helps to separate the curls make them bigger and not kind of like noodle spaghetti spiral curls because that's not really the look that i'm going for today just make sure at the back i can kind of see in the mirror there that i haven't got any sort of like bumps or massive like texture coming out so what i'm going to do I don't, but what I am going to do is just take the very, very top section of hair, like this, and I'm just going to give it the most tiniest little back comb, nothing crazy, and then take my hairbrush from earlier and just kind of smooth over the back of it, just so I haven't got any hair extensions peeking through. Oh my god, this looks unreal and now i've got the hair like apart and nice and brushed out just going to play around with it until i like it i might spritz a little bit of hairspray on And then as a little final touch, I've got one of these hair styling sticks. You could use a little bit of hairspray in your fingers, but I'm just going to very, very gently go across the top section of my hair where I have a few flyaways and just kind of brush them in the general direction that I want them to go. And this is the finish look, big, sexy, voluminous curls. I'm feeling so glamorous right now. And these hair extensions are by Goo Goo Hair Extensions. I also have a discount code for them, so I'll put that on the screen as well in the description box down below. So definitely go ahead and check them out. I have the shade Light Blonde Highlights, and these are the Double Weft. I'll put any details on the screen and the description box down below so you can really guide your way through the perfect hair extensions for you. But these are so amazing, I can't get over them i feel so glam just going to stand up so you can kind of see the overall result right here i think they look so nice and you could obviously style these up in so many different ways i'm not someone who's a huge expert on styling different fun hairstyles but this is something that you could do if you wanted to do like a big kind of like half up half down and add in a few hair extensions for a bit of volume that would be amazing they are so versatile and just so easy to store in a nice satin bag that it comes with you can tell i'm completely obsessed i cannot stop touching my hair because i just think it looks so nice and like big and voluminous and princess like i'm absolutely obsessed with this and thank you so much to Goo, Goo for sponsoring this video helping me feel the lamb throughout 2024 if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i upload a new video and go ahead and check me out on socials i'm siobhan at makeup biz on every single platform and thank you so much for watching i shall see you in my next video bye